Hello everyone, welcome back for more. Got it, heads down. Did this crash on me? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Nothing, nothing. A medicine. How the hell do I get in there then?
First room, eight key. There we go. Also, excellent. All right, let's look. Now the first I'm delivery feeling question, pretty low these days. The old man? Or this woman? Boobs. I've got some time. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Shotgun. Now I think about it. where is right there. You know what? Let's see if you're falling sick, sick, I don't want you near me. It's not the best choice. Music to my ears.
Am I wearing it right now? machine gun without killing him this time. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that. Rocks in the river, but Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed territory. I think she was jealous. She don't know how to skip rocks or eggs up. Alright, let's turn the journal. I believe I can get him as a companion now, afterwards. Any progress on that matter we just. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French! Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. Well, uh... Yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and... Bokonu, the author had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bokonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. 
Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. And to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Nice. This one's all the way up there, okay. Last winter completely f rusted the uh, cable for the throttle to engage the blades, more blades, rusted inside the plastic coating and broke the plastic, so it needs to be replaced. Yeah. I didn't WD 40 it or anything like that. Bad me, bad me. the armor. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got a geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. You don't know what enough with the questions means? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if... Mar it's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be... Can't imagine where she's gone. Hale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Could do without the gallows humor. I should apologize for that. That was completely unnecessary.
If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I he would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plan? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. A hero to the people who matter. To us. To the ones who come around. To the ones you save. Reed will never understand. He has been too long inebriated on the wine of corporate culture. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt 
The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's kept... You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's Choice. The company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen it. All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some... So? What do you say? Divert power over... I trust you will listen to your conscience. Can I not combine them? If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Oh, ah, uh, didn't. Whoa, <laughs> Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? I, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well-armed and don't look stricken with plague. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been... well... well, I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads. No kidding! Really? Well, which... Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. What's on your mind? Couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole, and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh... We...
Is there no way to make them all happy? Canid flank? Canid snout, too. Something I can help you with? You mean Zoe? Yeah, we... Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Hey, I got time. Fresh off the limb. And that includes canid meat. Who was this? Ooh. What's this? Plasma. All right. Got distracted.
Nothing on the Alpha, huh? What's this? Oh! Adrena time? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you some. I already told you I want Rizzo's, Rizzo's, not Saltuna cans, not, you know, canid bits. Why is this? Hold on, what? My people? 
Wait, I see what's happening here. You're not a marauder. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This? I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Wait, you're telling me he's got a copy of the Mass Marketeer? Why didn't you say so? I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no? I insinuated myself into their company, see? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I'm great at clarifying. I don't think I can get the townspeople to come back here because apparently to get some history lessons, I need to have at least one in this and I don't. Well, oops. Ah, damn it. Fast travel. What is it? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Nice. Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. What's this? Ooh, plasma. Ah, uh, still junk. 
Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. No, no, I'm not going to steal just yet. Anything else I can do for you? That's not strange at all, dear. Few of us truly know where we are. The world can seem like a forest without end, and it is all too easy to lose one's way. But we must remember that being lost is the first step in discovering yourself. Glad I could help, dear. A sadness of the heart brings sickness upon the whole body. Are you not feeling well? Ought to lay your head down if you're running fever. Are you talking about an escape pod of some sort? Where did you say you were from? Is that a new settlement of some kind? I haven't kept news from outside the... Oh, you're talking about that old piece of folklore. Now I'm convinced you're delirious. You really ought to lay your head down, dear. Babbling only agitates the humors. You ought to try some of my purgative tea. Maybe I do. I don't know yet. Growing up, I heard my folks talking about the hope. Always believed it was just a story we told ourselves to keep our spirits up. Listen, don't you worry about what I think. That's not important. Worry about what the board thinks if... No. But the board may have reason to fear you. You carry on about coming here from another world, and people will talk. Talk leads to questions. Ask enough questions, and the board comes answering. I'm listening. I am getting old, you know. These two lamps of mine are not as bright as they once were. Or I might have seen you for what you are. My dear, we are all visitors in a momentary universe. Our lives flicker in and out like the guttering of a flame. Here now, then gone. Me and mine are just carrying on as best we can, trying to live our lives in a way that does not feel wasted. More of the colony felt the way you did. We'd have ourselves a proper revolution. I can't stop you from conducting your business down at the plant. I just want you to know that if you take our power away... You will have brought in... If you think Reed does anything in good faith, then you are asking to be lied to. That's because Reed was my boss. I was the cannery's one and only flavor specialist. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked there. away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. I could not possibly care less if he does. I'm... Oh. Damn it. No kidding! Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. I'm gonna... I'm gonna head up there now. Alright, let's go some more autos, get some more XP.
I think Doc was one of the bounties? If so, then. Oh, yeah. I can't do anything else. Okay. out Home would have been built here.
bypass? Is there no door here? In this building either? Oh, it's shut. Nothing else going on here. Alright everyone, stay safe, next time we will see about doing the thermal plant issue and all that fun stuff. Stay safe, and until then. <laughs>